Well, things are bright and sunny over there in Cloud Nine World, as you can see from the the lens flare across Blabber's uh, face right now as they continue to stop North America for the second split in a row. This coverage brought to you by Alienware. Uh, so Blabber, uh, you know, we're two weeks in, and I think a lot of people thought, okay, well maybe EG can t can contest them or something, and it just it feels like nobody can really contest you right now. Is this just the way we should expect Summer Split to go? Um, I think we're really confident in our play. So I think no matter who we play, uh, I think we all expect for us to win. Um, maybe teams will ramp up later on the split. So it's hard to tell. I do think some of the teams are better than they were last split, but I do think it'll be pretty easy for us if things keep going the way they are. Yeah. I mean, what teams do you think are, are better or improved or could contest you? Um, well, I think FlyQuest is the same so we're pretty similar to the way they were last split so i think they're okay but i don't really think i mean i don't think any of the teams can actually beat us but i think flyquest is one of the better teams for sure tl is definitely a lot better than they were last split um so um maybe like if they keep improving and i do think eg uh isn't super bad i think they have like carry potential with bang and jizuke so they can always maybe pull something out well i i think it was a jensen interview i i need to go look it up that where they said that um clg might be able to contest you guys do you i've heard a lot of different things about clg uh and you guys i think c9 praised them a lot going into the split so maybe you can help provide context is, is clg good um not when we scrimmed them but <laughs> so why are okay. you guys why is reaper saying they're good why is jack putting them higher on the rankings uh, cause there were like rumors or yeah, rumors that they were beating TL and, uh, TSM and all these other teams in scrims. And, you know, this was before we scrimmed them when they said that. And then, uh, when we scrimmed them, it wasn't, we were just like, wow, uh, maybe these rumors aren't true, but, um, I mean, people can talk about what they want. We just, uh, we'll just beat them when we play them. Okay. Well, I'm excited to see how that game goes. Although seeing what you guys did over the last couple of games. Although that Golden Guardians game was not as stompy as one would expect, right? People tend to place Golden Guardians pretty low, and obviously you guys had a great game yesterday. So, I mean, what do you think about Golden Guardians after having just played them? I think Golden Guardians is okay, but I don't think they really have any star power on their team. I'm never really afraid of any of their players really taking over the game. It's like, you know, some players, you, like, give them kills. Or it's like, maybe, like, Jizuki, for example, gets fed. You're like, oh, maybe he'll 1v9 the game, right? But you don't feel that way about any of the GGS players, I feel like. Like, even if they get... Even if we're behind, we're like, oh, I mean, this game will be fine. Um, also, I was hard inting that game, honestly. So that's why the game was a bit Well, harder. so I'm glad you brought that up because on the analyst desk afterwards, they were, or maybe the casters, they were saying, oh, like, this is a different style of play. Like, they were play able to play through Zven. Normally, they try to play through Blabber. So... Is that is this a situation where Zven stepped up because you were having issues, or is were you having issues because normally the team supports you in a different way? I mean, what what led to the situation we ended up in there? Um, well, I actually had a really good early game up until I died three times in a row. Um, so I think Trundle right now in general is just a good pick. Um, as you see, like we banned it three games on we were on blue, right? So I, I definitely think Trundle is a good pick, and I think it's not a jungle revolved meta like that most people think it is i think i think uh adc is really strong right now i think mid lane champs like tf and galio are really strong right now um that like roam and help bot lane so it doesn't always have to be like me carrying but like uh, my team playing around me i think anyone on my team if we give them resources to can carry um but i don't think this event uh had anything to do with, like me inting i guess yeah <laughs> i just i didn't know i don't know if if the play style lend it's it landed itself to a way in which you were maybe more vulnerable to that type of stuff than normal. I don't know. Uh, hey, one question uh, that I have, I don't know if you're the best person to ask this, but I've been meaning to bring it up. Mark on the analyst desk has been going crazy about how people are not picking Lukong and it has high, a really high presence in LPL. So why do you think it is that we're not seeing more Wukong over here? Um, well, Wukong is pretty strong right now. Um, I think you might see us play it, but every other team besides us has a completely different meta. Like, everyone thinks that Ornn, Aatrox is still apparently the meta, 
in top lane, which, as you can tell by our games, we do not think that's the meta. Um, and Wukong isn't, like, I guess, a counter to those champions, really, so maybe that's why they're not playing it. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, if teams are just going to keep first picking Orn and banning it, then, like, have fun. <laughs> I mean, is that is this a problem with North America, you think, where we just don't have, or the majority of the teams don't have a good understanding of the meta compared to some of the other regions? Uh, I think it's just hard. I think we have a completely different meta than teams. Like, uh, we play Jace top, um, carry or into the junglers, like, um, support support uh, champions mid, or sometimes, like, carry mids too, obviously, and just can play them all. But I think maybe they're just too afraid to try stuff, um, or their players just aren't good enough to play these carry champions. But I don't know if that's true. Yeah, because just for some reason it's not happening. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, how are how are things going on Cloud Nine these days? How are you guys holding up during quarantine and all that? Um, we're doing pretty good. We're just kind of chilling, you know, playing uh, some League, uh, playing some Hearthstone. Does it and, feel uh, any different? Uh, sucks to not play on stage, but I think we're all used to playing at home by now. We yeah. did it for like half of Lost Split already, right? All of playoffs too, so we're already used to it, but obviously I think we'd all want to go back to stage. I mean, the funny, I guess the reason I asked does it feel any different is that, you know, for a lot of people around the world, and I work from home a lot of the time, but, you know, people are so used to like leaving, going out, doing things, traveling, uh, eating at restaurants, all that stuff. LCS pro players already kind of practice quarantine five out of the seven days in my experience. So it's just kind of funny. I, I don't know if, you know, it's any weird for you guys at all. Um, for me, it doesn't feel too different. I think the only thing that sucks is like before I would choose not to go out, you know? So it's like, yeah, it's fine for me. But now it's like, I can't go out. So it feels worse. Even if I, even if you go wouldn't out. have gone yeah, out, even though I wasn't gonna go out, just knowing that I can't go out is like, it feels worse, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The struggle. Well, either way, uh, Blabber, is there anything that you want to say to anybody out there? Um, yeah. Thanks to all the fans for supporting us. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to win again this split. Yeah, well, I mean, it's looking that way so far. And thanks so much, Blabber, for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things esports right here on my YouTube channel. Hey, don't go anywhere. I have a, a favor to ask of you. And I know the whole Alienware stuff. There's a link in the description, whatever. This is more than that. Uh, there's also in the description a link to a brand survey that Travis Gafford Industries is conducting. We're trying to gain insight into what you guys think about our relationships with our sponsors and brands and all that stuff. I'm not, I don't want to spoil the survey because then that ruins the results. But either way, it would be very helpful if you answer it honestly and take a look into it because we'll use that data to better improve the way we work with sponsors and, and hopefully get some more in the future. Either way, thank you so much for watching and thanks for helping out with that survey.